Okay, so the really how the HACO Topics Therm works is it has this broken area of thread, so thread in the tip and thread in the head. And if we come in tight here, we're going to see that we've matched the thread to nearly the thickness of the insulation. The important part is the distance of this blank area, non-threaded area. Because when we think about it, we're turning, we come in, and now I've, I've hit the wall. And when I've hit the wall, that tip is going to need a little bit of time to turn and start to penetrate the wall and have the threads pick up and start driving it in. What's important for to not happen is that there's a thread inside the batten because as we're turning and it's still the tip is still sitting on the wall, not penetrated yet, the thread is going to force the batten out. And when it forces it out, your natural tendency is going to have to be to compress it back in when you get to the end of the drive. And so what the Topics Therm is designed to do is to start penetrating the wall where there is no thread, no pressure on the batten to change its position until it's penetrated the wall and then thread will start picking up here into an area of the batten that's already had a thread in it so the threads will just pick up and the power of the threads in this area is what's going to be driving the countersink head into the batten rather than the power of the tip into the wall compressing the head into the batten. It's an important distinction to have these threads driving the head into the batten and that way you don't wind up changing the distance or the thickness of the insulation by compression um, in any pre appreciable amount or an amount that would cause uh, your wall to be out of plane or out of true.